What is up guys, it's Tricky here and I'm bringing you another commentary on some Black Ops 2 gameplay. Before I get started with this commentary, I just want to say why we haven't been uploading in the past month. It's because we've been really busy with school and now we're not as busy, we manage our time better and now we can get content out to you guys and I know some of you might be going like oh wow it's just because Black Ops came out and now you're gonna start uploading that's not the reason I've been really busy I haven't been able to play games for the past I don't know how long because of activities but now that they're over I could start um, bringing out content for you guys on this channel but this commentary is mostly gonna be over my first impressions of this game and my review basically of the multiplayer because I haven't played zombies or the campaign yet but I just got this game right after I got home from school I picked it up right after school I didn't go to the midnight release because um, I wasn't that excited for this game but I picked it up put it in and all I've been playing since was multiplayer and let me tell you this game is really really fun in my opinion I know I like all the Call of Duties. People out there watching like the Call of Duties, but I think this game is different from all the Call of Duties in my opinion. It doesn't really feel like a Call of Duty game. It feels like its own first person shooter, its own experience. I know it looks like a Call of Duty game, but it doesn't feel like it. And this game online, it just seems harder to play. I've been really good playing at Modern Warfare 3 online and all the other Call of Duties online. Like, I've been good at it, my KD is pretty high, but this game, it's a little bit tougher for me. I don't know why, it was pretty hard to get a gameplay for you guys. This game I go 30 and 11, and the other games, trust me, they were not as good. But, I think it's because I haven't played Call of Duty in a while, nor have I played video games in a while, and I might be getting used to it again. But, it just feels different, and I guess that's a good thing. To me, it's a good thing because I want it. I don't know. Whenever a new Call of Duty comes out, I want it to be something different, like a different experience. And I think Treyarch has definitely made it a different experience in this Call of Duty. Um, I'm going to talk about some things that I like about this game, some things that I don't like so far that I've spotted. And this is all strictly multiplayer, so um, this is not for zombies or campaign or anything. But some things that I like about this game so far is like the gun noises I know that's that might not be something you want to hear but the gun noises they sound really good um, they like each gun has its own distinct noise just shoot if you have this game shoot the guns and just listen they sound I think they sound really good I know people don't pay attention to that but I just noticed that and I was like wow that's pretty amazing but also the maps they're very detailed as you can see on this map, it looks like um, some type of city on the shoreline of the ocean, maybe? I don't know. But there's a lot of places to hide on all the maps. There's a lot of buildings, a lot of corridors and stuff. So it'll keep you like active the whole time instead of having like a wide open map. So I guess that's good. Um, I also like this new game mode that they have. It's called Multi-Team. It's basically a 3v3 v3 and it has team deathmatch kill confirmed and hardpoint if you don't know what hardpoint is it's kind of like headquarters except it's um I think you get points by getting kills in the hardpoint zone but I don't know I only played it once and it's kind of like headquarters just think of it that way um, but that game mode multi-team is probably the best game mode out there I think because you just get I don't know, two other friends and you face against two other groups of friends or people or whoever and it just seems more better than Team TAC to me even though it doesn't have all the um, tactical game modes like Domination, Demolition, Search and Destroy, Headquarters, stuff like that but it's still pretty fun. I like how they added um, all the gun game stuff back all the, they call it party games like Gun Game, Sharpshooter and all that that's all back for um, XP on here so you can play that online and get XP for it and they also have combat training and something about this is that the combat training I think you could get XP from it and weapon XP but you get half that you would normally get for playing um, just like regular online 
but I guess that's cool for beginners. They could like try it out without having to go online and face tryhards, I guess. So that's a good feature. I think that's cool. I'm personally not going to be playing um, combat training, but it's cool that they added it in. And this game, like the mechanics of it feel really different. All the customizations are different. It's just really, really confusing. At the beginning, it was really confusing for me, but now I got used to it. Um, they do use the token system as in Modern Warfare 3, but it's kind of different. They use it for, um, like, your guns and stuff and attachments. No, they don't use it for attachments. They use it for perks. They use it for guns. They use the tokens for... I think that's it. I think it's only perks and guns. Oh, and equipment. And I think that's about it. But instead of modeling for threes tokens, like it goes towards after you prestige, you get to unlock stuff. Um, this game, the tokens go towards your weapons and stuff. I don't know what happens after you prestige, but the level cap for this game is level 55. So once you hit 55, you can prestige. Um, but overall, this game is really fun. I don't know if it's just because this game just came out and all the new all the new stuff's really fun at the beginning, but I think I'm going to have a fun time with this game. Uh, it's definitely difficult, more difficult than the other Call of Duties that I've experienced, but um, overall this game is really fun so far. So hopefully me and Psyche will be uploading more content, maybe some zombies and stuff, other reviews of this game so far, but this is my first impression and what I think of this game. And if you're a fan of any first-person shooter, I would recommend getting this game even if you hate Call of Duty because it doesn't really feel like that type of game. But that's about it, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.